Hello, hello, hello everyone. It is Teresa from Teresa's Spot for Art. Welcome um, to my YouTube channel. This is what we're going to be painting. This is a 3D um, pumpkin design with the little blackbird and the sunflower. I have one here, but I'm going to do a little something different with it. So let me turn you guys around. I have out some brown, some white, some black, spice pumpkin, and saffron yellow. This spice pumpkin and saffron yellow are my two of my favorite colors for fall. The Spice Pumpkin is a very, very deep orange, as opposed to like a really bright orange. And the Saffron Yellow has a little bit of a, like a orange tint to it. I like them both and I like how they go together. So I'm just gonna wipe off my brush and I'm going to pick up both of these colors, the yellow and the orange, and I'm gonna start painting in my pumpkin here. I'm going to pick up yellow and the orange every time. Some of this you're not gonna see because this part's gonna go over it, but I'm still going to paint it nonetheless. And every time I'm dipping into the orange and the yellow, because I want to see some variation in my pumpkin. I am going to go around and do the edges because you will see them. This is um, about half inch wide um, plywood. I get these from a vendor here in the USA, made in the USA, and I love them. Um, send me a message or put it in the comments if you want to know where I get these from. I do have these 3D pumpkins on my website, um, but I don't have the, oh, the other piece to this that I'm going to be showing you on my website. Okay. So I did that big part. Now this is the middle of the pumpkin. I'm going to do it the exact same way. I have the orange to the outside, flip over my brush, put the orange to the outside, and then in the middle will be our highlights. Our nice bright yellow highlight. And we're going to let this now dry as well. Put it over there. I'm gonna switch. switch brushes for a minute and pick up mostly yellow and I'm going to work on my sunflower. I got a little brush for this. If it gets in the middle it's okay because we're going to use this part to go right over that. And I'm just going around my sunflower and I'm just base coating in all my petals. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of the orange and start adding in just a little bit of the orange to give a little bit of shade to my petals. Now I put my, just the corner in some white and I'm pulling that around and adding in some white highlight as well. I think a couple of them need a little bit more yellow so I'm going to brighten up those petals with some yellow. I'm not even going to wash my brush. I'm going to go right into the brown. I'm going to paint this whole center here. This will need a couple of coats. And I am going to wash my brush now. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna pick up some black and I'm going to base coat in this little blackbird or crow, whatever you wanna call it. And again, I'm gonna do the edges. I don't know if I did the edges of my pumpkin, I didn't. The little center for the pumpkin. I don't have to do the edges of the center 
of the flower because that's already brown. So there's our bird. I'm going to pick up the yellow again and I'm going to go around and I'm going to do the edges of my sunflower. I'm just doing the one edge now. But when I get to the end, I can flip it over and now I'm going to turn it, turn it and do the other edge. This way I'm not trying to put my brush back and forth and backwards and sticking it in there. I went one direction and now I'm going the other direction. And then since I got a little bit on the front, I'm just going to take my brush and even it out a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to pick up the brown again. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do a second coat of my brown. Now you can see the holes are a little filled with paint. So I just gently put a little blow and got those holes unfilled. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of brown in here too. This way, if it doesn't line up just exactly right, you won't see any natural wood. Okay. Let me wash my brush again. I'm going to get some orange. I'm going to paint the beak of our little crow here. Then I'm going to dip my brush handle in some white paint and dot the eye. And then I'm going to get my liner brush. I like to wet my liner brush when I start to use it. This way all the fibers come together and it's not all crazy. And I'm going to do a little squiggly outline around the center. Of our sunflower. I went in with white. Now I'm going back with a little bit of black. Okay. Wash my brush. I'm going to get a little bit of white and I'm going to draw a wing onto my bird and do a little bit of outline on his tail feathers. I'm going to add a couple of white highlight strokes onto my sunflower as I go around. Okay. And then I'm going to add some outline to my pumpkin. If you want to be a little bit more whimsical with it, you can put these little dots or you can just follow around with your outline. Okay. And do the same thing on the center section. I'm going to get my smaller flat brush again. 
dry it off and do my stem. Again, we want to get the edges of our stem because you will be able to see this. I want my stem to come out a little bit like it's into the top of the um, pumpkin. So I'm just adding in these little wings. That's the only part you're gonna see. I'm lightening it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna get my liner brush again. I wanna add a little bit of black outline, but not too much. I'm not gonna go over all of my white. I'm just gonna hit it sporadically not as much okay then I'm going to use the back of my brush in my yellow and I'm going to put some highlights up here on my center not too many what do you guys think so far coming along really cute isn't it and then I want to add a top to my pumpkin. Now I'm gonna get my heat gun. Because all these pieces have to be dry before I start gluing them together. I'm gonna to show you what we're gonna put them on. Now this is a carving board. It's actually a breadboard I got from a restaurant supply. Um, I crackle painted it previous to here. I'll go back and I'll list that video in the description for you. And now I'm going to put this on here. I don't know if I should center it or put it to the left. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue. And there we go. I'm layering this right on here. Getting the center segment of my pumpkin and putting it right in there. I'm going to add the center to my sunflower. And then I'm going to put my bird up here. And my sunflower down here. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? And let me turn you guys around. So cute. And look at the crackle paint. Isn't that fun? I can get a bow or some raffia, whatever it is I want to tie up around the neck. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.